I know is so explosive and so... Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. Today is July 14th, 2014, and we're on Climate Viewer 3D, looking at Africa and the fires raging down that way. I had a request from one of our Climate Viewers to show the satellite footage on that, and maybe we can get some uh, views of the smoke. Right, this is the Modus Terra um, True Color from July 1st up to the 14th and you can see a great deal of smoke associated with that I went in here to, to try to investigate and to as best I can tell um, it appears to be you know just wildfires I, I, I assume that most of this smoke would probably uh, be related to um, you know like field burning but you know if somebody out there can give me a straight answer, I would love to know um, what's causing all this smoke. Why are all these? And you can see that it's really grown. This is the last image um, up through. I ran it back to the 27th, and you can see the smokes there every day. But it really is uh, getting thick now. So, somebody give me an answer out there. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and. And with that, let's go over to our daily storm log. We had some tornadoes uh, across Wyoming and Nebraska. Three of those today. Large storm moving through again. Um, there was just FEMA disaster declarations in Iowa. We have uh, hail damage across Denver and wind damage all up in the northeast you can see that uh, storm front there moving through and this is our cold arctic wind that's going to be pouring in going to be kind of crazy um, there was uh, actually reports of hail in russia um, it was 98 degrees during the day and then they had hail on the beach you can check that right out over here hail fire golf ball size yeah um, there's a video associated with that. It's on Climate Bureau Reports. Also, 2,500 um, gallons of diesel fuel has leaked at the Fermi nuclear facility. Get your stuff together there, guys. Um, and the CDC had to close um, its two of its uh, labs due to recent uh, anthrax release. Um, I swear, man, all the crazy stuff they have in bottles there. I really wish they'd get their stuff together, and you can see that here. Um, and we also have a chemical spill in Madison County. It's a truck overturned. We're going to hop over here to our place of the day. We're going to talk about cell phone towers. Oh my goodness. There are so many cell phone towers. These things are popping up everywhere. Um, as you can see... That's a lot of cell phone towers. Unfortunately for us, that is not all of them. That is nowhere near all of them. Um, this is only the ones that were reported to the FCC. Um, this file date was 2011. I'll look to update this in the near future. But not all cell phone towers are required to actually uh, report to the FCC. I, I don't fully understand that, but as you can see here, um, these are legit each one of these are um, directly from the FCC and they should all match up very uh, closely let's find one is this on a mountaintop yep now these aren't the ones I'm concerned about the ones I'm concerned about are when you have a cell phone tower that is directly over a schoolhouse um, if they're in the middle of cities, usually um, there haven't been a lot of concern placed for the safety of others. So obviously this one is really close to all of these houses. Nobody should be living that close to a microwave. And for information, uh, further information on cell phone safety, Wi-Fi, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and EMF health effects, are cell phones causing cancer? You might want to read up on this stuff. 
the UK chief medical officers strongly advise that children and teenagers under 16 should not use mobile phones except for short essential calls. We're all connected, we're all getting Wi Fi, and nobody's really taking this seriously. Please come over here and check it out. It's at climateviewer.com slash EMF. Um, and then you can come over to Climate Viewer 3D and see all of the cell phone towers that have been reported as of 2011. And we also have the paging, AM, FM radio, digital television, NTSC, land mobile broadcast, and of course your super high powered microwaves like Harp, everybody's favorite uh, weapon of doom. Uh, I put a lot of work into this. Hope you guys check it out and uh, stay informed. There are a lot of these things out there. High powered microwaves in space, on the ground, in your house, everywhere. And they bombard our cells, they bombard our soul, and they, they affect you. So let's try, to, let's try to figure it out together. And with that, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better, it's not. Thank you guys.